It's almost time for assembly for the hydrogen gas gun, um, or the gas gun, whatever you want to call it. Got a lot of parts made. I've been cutting a lot of nylon lately. Um, I didn't have access to a big block of nylon, so I went and bought a cutting board. <laughs> it was a half inch thick. I think it worked out to my advantage because each half inch I'm doing something completely different um, for this assembly process. I think I'm going to need a few more uh, right in this area here, maybe two more. I'd like to put three extraction grids between these. This is how they're going to go like that. So if I got, you know, like two more and I put a screen in between each one of those, then uh, it might help out. But check out what I got, got going so far. Um, just use the hole saw and cut these out. Um, that fits just perfect right on there for the one inch. Anyway, all right. So you got the same on both sides there. Um, and which one is it? I got a hole tapped right there so we can put the electrode attachment to the pipe and then this is what I made for the center wire I'm gonna suspend it right down the center and I've also got another I don't know if you can see in there you can see the end of that uh, bar metal that's at 1 16th stainless steel bar metal and you'll be able to access it right there with your with a screw from the outside and so I'm probably going to go the opposite direction right over there and then last but not least we'll have this on here for entry and exit I got the opposite on this side so I got wire today and this is 28 gauge uh, galvanized wire. I hope that's going to work for this application. Uh, so that's going to attach to these, that bar, and uh, suspend right down through the middle there. If you can see that. Yeah, right down the middle. And something else I got recently was five meters of uncoated RBG um, flexible, what do you call this? LEDs. And this is what I plan on doing with it. I didn't want any anything blocking the uh, potency of the light intensity. So there's not going to be anything between I'm not putting the LEDs on the outside they're going to be right in the same chamber as the gas. They'll be basically wrapped right around the pipe. You can see that's going to go right in there. So, this is what it's going to look like. And that's actually on low. Let me turn that up for you. Bam. There are 60 LEDs per meter. I think that's as bright as it goes. And what's cool about this is it's got a remote control. And I showed you this in the last video. It'll do red, green, and blue. And all three at the same time make white. Um, so I was thinking you could, you know, adjust this to whatever gas you need if it responds better to uh, red and uh, blue. Well, there you go, there's purple. <laughs> and uh, if you wanted to do a pulsing application, you know, it's got lots of options. So, this is what I'll be doing. As soon as I get this thing milled, um, it'll be assembly time. And I'm getting excited about that. So, here's a little diagram I drew up if you guys want to know what I'm doing basically uh, mainly I got most of my ideas from uh, Russ Grease at RWG um, 
So as you can see the outside here is that there's only one tube. The LEDs are right inside that. There's a small space. Then you got your pipe with the slots cut in it. And then you can see the wire on the inside. And then it's suspended over here by those bar. Uh, the stainless steel bar. And I'm going to have one electrode over here, one electrode on the opposite side to prevent arcing. And then the electron extraction grid is going to be on the opposite side. And I'm going to do something like this with the three different layers. So it'll pass through uh, three different electron extraction grids and uh, leave to the light. Uh, what else can I show you? That's about it, really. So I'll keep you posted as soon as uh, the assembly starts. I'll walk you through the assembly. Take care, guys.